1960 classic uh, western The Magnificent Seven, uh, directed by John Sturgis. Uh, some great music on this one by Elmer Bernstein. And the uh, stars of the show, the uh, seven, of course. Yul Brynner plays Chris. Uh, Steve McQueen is Vin. Charles Bronson, O'Reilly. Robert Vaughan plays Lee. James Coburn plays Britt. And Horst Bugholtz, Bugholtz plays Chico. And Brad Dexter plays Harry. Uh, I don't know if I've carry, counted them all. Uh, two, I've only counted six. Sorry, uh, seven. I've got them all in. The villain, uh, Calvera, is played by Eli Wallach. He is tremendous. The set, the early set, the outlaws with uh, uh, Calvero uh, in the front arrive in a very small Mexican uh, Texas type town. And Wallach, uh, his men steal everything they can get their hands on. Uh, this is a, a regular a port of call for them uh, when they want to uh, re-nourish and get ready to continue in their outlaw lifestyle. Um, the villagers are very meek and very frightened. Uh, one uh, challenges Calvera as they the gang are about to leave and he pays for it with his life. The villagers then gather and talk to an elder about how they can uh, avoid it happening again. His message is you must learn to fight or die. And uh, so they, with his uh, financial help, uh, decide to try and find some gun slingers to uh, help them uh, defy Calvera when he comes uh, on his next visit. We then shift to a small town, Boot Hill. Um, an Indian has died. Uh, his family want to bury him in the cemetery on the on the hill. Um, there's a, a crowd of white racists uh, shouting and saying that this is not going to happen, that they do not want an Indian buried on their sacred ground. Uh, unfortunately for them, um, there are a couple of guys uh, in the crowd, Chris and Vin, who are basically just passing the time away. And they decide uh, to step in and deliver the Indian to the burial ground, which is about uh, a couple of hundred metres out of town. And it then becomes apparent um, that they passed their audition with regard to being useful with a gun and having the uh, fearless approach. And three villagers witness it and then make a plea to Chris for him uh, to help. Uh, reluctantly, he eventually does. And then we start the recruitment of uh, people that he knows. Um, and he goes about uh, tracking them down uh, and we witness some uh, fascinating uh, scenes. I particularly like the one with uh, uh, Brit. Colburn is an expert with a knife and they come across him in a small town where he's winning a bet by uh, throwing a knife quicker than somebody can draw a gun. Uh, um, the the six, uh, I won't go into too many details about how they're all recruited, but the six uh, are then later joined by a seventh, who's a young a Tex Mex uh, young man who wants to be a hero, and Borkholz tries desperately to join the gang by impressing Chris, um, but it falls on deaf ears initially. Uh, but eventually, when uh, they're all gathered, he then follows them on their trail back to the uh, village. The villagers have offered a measly $20 uh, for their help. Uh, most of the seven uh, find this uh, a very unattractive offer, but they are persuaded uh, by their conscience, by their 
good heart and by the presence of their uh, leader Chris. Brynner is absolutely superb in this movie and the others make some very good contributions. Uh, uh, particularly uh, 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 McQueen. Uh, this is the first time I really saw him uh, in a movie and you can see the potential uh, in his performance. Uh, so anyway, they then uh, uh, get to the village and the next phase is to uh, train and prepare the locals for the imminent arrival of Calvara and we witness some very amusing tales, amusing uh, scenes of this uh, training uh, that ca is carried out, the uh, repartee between uh, O'Reilly and a bunch of young um, uh, Mexican boys is particularly uh, uh, amusing and likable. And uh, we basically then uh, move towards the situation when Calvera uh, arrives back with his men um, initially he walks in uh, and the Chris uh, and, and the six stand uh, showing resistance and point out that they're not going anywhere Calvera suggests that they uh, should be uh, on their way for their own benefit of course that's ignored and so Calvera then uh, retreats with his gang of 30 plus uh, gunslingers and then eventually outwits uh, the seven uh, by uh, capturing them after they uh, attempt to infiltrate Calvera's camp uh, they're then given an ultimatum, Chris and the gang, uh, to get out uh, in it, to, to save their lives. Uh, but of course, although they take up this, they uh, have no intention of honouring that agreement. And then we get the final uh, uh, half an hour of the film where we witness the shootout in the village. Uh, between the seven, the locals and the bad guys, uh, Calvera. Um, it's, a, it's a bit dated, this film. Of course, it was uh, based on Kurosawa's The Seven Samurai. Uh, and, uh, but having said that, um, there are uh, some moments in the movie that are quite captivating. I was particularly taken by the romantic uh, uh, dialogue between Buchholz and a, a young, attractive uh, 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 Mexican girl and how that becomes significant at the end. And uh, also the repartee between uh, uh, the seven uh, over uh, dinner uh, when they're relaxing. So there we have it. It's a classic Western. Uh, it has been remade uh, a few years back, but I don't think that comes anywhere near to this uh, performance. Um, it made uh, these actors, uh, it launched their careers, and uh, it's certainly one of the better Westerns. So there we have it then. The Magnificent Seven, released in 1960, directed by John Sturgis.